I'm allergic to a lot of foods and sometimes there will be times in my life where they're really bad and it was like today really bad. she ate something that she was allergic to I'm gonna get something for her thanks guys and I don't know if I'm overreacting but I kind of feel like I need to go get tested <laughs> if I did have COVID I would want to stay away from people because I don't want my family to get it <laughs> what my morning looks like. I've been snuggling the cat all morning. I do still feel a little sick. I woke up. She has a headache. Yeah. I woke up with my headache still. And what did I do? <coughs> oh, sorry. A headache and a sore throat still. I took medicine so I'm feeling better. But I don't think it's COVID. I think it's just like a simple like cold or something, not bad. Because it is getting better. <laughs> Are you feeling my head for me? I feel like if I did have COVID, I would want to stay away from people because I don't want my family to get it. Um, but I don't I don't think I have COVID. Um, I think it's just like a common cold or just a fever or something. Um, or dehydration or something. <laughs> I woke up and I was a little worried. I was like, can I smell things? Can I taste things? I feel like if one of those happened, then I'd get really worried. But right now, it's just like stuffy nose, headache, sore throat. Not too bad. It just is like a cold. Man, there you are. Where are you going? Uh oh. Where are you going, man? What you doing? I have pears that are ready to be processed. I have kind of been avoiding the pears today. I knew they were probably pretty close and they are actually very close. So Up there is my peanut butter and jelly sandwich stuff. I like it, go make it. So, Mommy, look. I guess I'm gonna be doing pears for the rest of the day today. So, my mom, she ate something that she was allergic to. I'm gonna get something for her. Can I'm I gonna choose it? this red one. Oh, that is too big. No, it's not, it's perfect. Mommy, I have something for you. So if you need to throw up, just throw up in that bowl. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. And Here's mommy, what? as you saw, she, she says like, Thank you. So, I guess she liked it, appreciated it. So, I've been reading up into things, and I don't know if I'm overreacting, but I kind of feel like I need to go get tested. <laughs> I just have a sore throat, I have a headache, and I've had a little cough. Like, it's not frequent, but I will, like, need to cough more than usual today. Um, and usually they're just like small little, <laughs> You know, just small things. I don't know, maybe I just wear a mask around the house and so none of my family gets sick. But it's like, and it could just be a cold. The problem is now with COVID, it's like, these are all symptoms. And one of the symptoms is like stuffy nose, which I had one this morning. But I assumed it was allergies, which it could be. It could be just allergies. <laughs> and it's like, because I am a little bit allergic to Mim. Because she still does, not, does kind of have fur. And maybe this is all from allergies. I don't know. But I... I'm a little nervous because I'm supposed to go to Vegas tomorrow with Branson and Mara, which I'm so excited about, but I, I don't know if it's a good idea now. Dad has been wanting me to help around the house because mom's been sick today. And I have been, but then I just looked it up and it said, if you have any of these symptoms, try to isolate yourself from your family. So I could have already, if I did have it, you could already have gotten my family at risk of getting it. So I, I'm kind of in a battle with myself because it's like, maybe I'm just being too, I'm overthinking it. But also it's like, it could just be a cold. It could just be, it could be COVID. It like, it could be like early case of, or early signs of COVID. I don't know. 
because we were with a lot of people this last weekend and I, I don't know, I'm worried. I don't know what to do. And it's like, does my whole family have to get tested? I don't want to go get tested alone. And it's like, Danielle has school that she needs to go to. And so if I have Corona, then she has to stay home and get quarantined for two weeks. And so she'd miss two weeks of school. Let's wait today and see if you feel any better. And then we'll talk to dad and go from there. All right. Sounds good. So Branson and Az both said they saw a lizard down here, a really, really big one. But I do not see. Maybe he said he went. He may have went underneath of that cabinet right there. So he's got that out still. But anyway, I came down to check it out, and one of the things that I realized is I still haven't been down here to do the vacuuming of all this mess. So I want to put the couches back down here. Um, for now because they're upstairs and the only way to do that the right way is to get this vacuumed out and cleaned and so I guess I'll take care of that lots of vacuuming but no lizard I still haven't seen this lizard that everyone is bragging about maybe it went in here look at this guys we still have a whole bunch of books things that need to be gone through from the flood. This room completely dried out, uh, but it ruined the floor completely. And so we need to come in and redo the floor again. And as you can see, there's just stuff everywhere still. It's kind of sad to be down here to see still the, just the, the mess that it made. The tile is still there. See this tile right here? And then uh, the open floor here. Every time I come down here, I'm like, oh man, there's so much work to be done down here, but there's so much work to be done up there and otherwise that we just don't have the time. We're gonna have to probably hire somebody soon and have them come and do it the right way. I like to do things myself, but I am not, I'm not a professional and I'm very slow because of other stuff that takes priority. So we'll figure it out. It's part of the, it's part of life, figuring it out, right? how much I love this little kitty. Some people might not like the way she looks, but I love her. She feels like suede. She's so cuddly and so lovey and so sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at Chateau Yaoi. It is now time for dinner in about five minutes. Thank you once again for joining us. Dinner will be prepared by your loving staff in five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your two minute reminder. Dinner is being served tonight in the dining room. We have breakfast for dinner. Thank you once again for joining us tonight at Chateau Yaoi. Let's go for that. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. It's no, just it onions. doesn't. What is that? It's onions. It's pork is onions. It just onions? It's onions, yeah. <laughs> pork skin. Onions. You're not supposed to tell them what it is until after he eats it. Okay. Alexa. There should be some much. Tell the dogs to be quiet. No, what they do That's is a lot they of make, hot sauce. I don't want to even uh, a foam <laughs> out of it. So basically, they just take it. They just use the, the <laughs> pork skin gelatin. <laughs> Al, so you heard. When yes. I uh, it you remember you that, that, that fish. Yeah. The fridge. Oh, and it's so cold. Yeah. Look. Oh, it's so cold. That other one did not get cold even when temperature was down. Let's see. You can stick your head in it. It wasn't cold. Yes. Oh. It's 31 degrees in there, it says. Whoa. So that's the nice. new fridge. Grizzly wants to check it out. It's a new fridge. What for is it, Grizz? It's going Grizz, in. Grizz, what is it? The new fridge is going in the food truck. That is the old one. Laura. I decided it did not want to work. This is the new one. Decided it wants to They're work. like identical. Okay, so I have eaten food. I took a nap. So now it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm feeling better. I still kind of have a little sore throat. My headache's pretty much gone. I feel a whole lot better. The nap really helped actually. I talked to Mara and then I talked to my mom about it, but we were thinking, we don't think it's COVID because if it was COVID, I don't think it would go away this fast after a two hour nap. 
And I'm right, like, I've taken medicine and all this stuff. It could be several things. It could be just like a common cold, but it also could be um, allergies from allergies because I am a little allergic to Mim because she, though she's a hairless cat, she still has little tiny hairs. So I'm a little bit allergic to her. So every once in a while I'll be like, I'll sneeze. And the other day we went to my grandpa's house and he has cats, not hairless cats, but real cats. So I was sneezing a lot because when I'm near animals that I'm allergic to, I sneeze a lot. And then with Grizzly, when he, when he hasn't had a bath for a while, I sneeze because he's got pollen, the dirty fur, all that stuff. So when I'm like loving on him, my nose gets all Egh. And so I sneeze a lot. And when I sneeze, I try to like control the sneeze and try to not sneeze. And so I think that's one reason why my throat's been hurting because when I sneeze, I like We'll hold it in and then another thing is there has been a lot of fires and so the air is very smoky um kind of gross um and so we think it also could be from the smoke and then also i have not been sleeping as much as i should as well as i should i have been i don't know some people are like probably gonna be like i get more sleep than you do don't complain but i've been going to bed around one two o'clock ish because we stay up late we watch movies, we spend time together as a family, and then I stay, sit, I come up here with Danielle, she takes a shower, I usually sometimes can sit on my phone sometimes, sometimes I'll sit up and sew, I'll sit up and do coloring or whatever, and then when she's getting ready for bed, I sit and do more of my things that I want to do, and then, so I don't go to bed till like 1 or 2, and then I wake up at 9 every morning, except this morning, which I woke up at 10. I don't know, I'm still getting a good amount of sleep. But I am been going to bed later than I usually should. There's definitely different factors, and I definitely will be um, still be wearing masks wherever I go, just to be extra safe. Um, probably not go out as much as often. As much as often? What? Probably not go out as frequently, just to be safe, just to make sure. But if I do go out, I will be wearing a mask. So. I'm feeling a lot better. I still have a little, feel a little bit sick, but I feel like after tomorrow it'll be gone, or at least barely, barely there. There are no boys in bed. What are you doing? What's going on here for tomorrow? Hey, tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Um, superhero, superhero day. Yeah, we're playing with, we're playing superheroes. <laughs> Walked my head. Are you okay? Look, mommy, these two are my weapons which are my gun arms. Okay, good night, sweet boys. Good night. Oh, mommy, can you fix this? Kenyon, haven't you heard the song about the monkeys jumping on the bed? The story about the monkeys jumping on the bed? Yeah, I already bonked to my head. Yeah, let's not do it again, okay? Good night, sweet boy. Good night. We love you. Good night, buddy. Good night, love you. Good night. What are you doing? That's not ready for bed. Making these things, but then I forgot to make my pajamas on. Hurry. What are those things? They're like these. <laughs> Whoa. Cute, connected people and snowmen. So what was your best part of the day today? Best part of the day today was probably, I can't remember most of the day today. So when Lizzie's doing her schoolwork, I don't see her like for most of the morning, most of the day until like one o'clock. And today I was sick, so I went to bed until like one o'clock to three o'clock or 1.30 to three o'clock or something like that. And then I like saw Lizzie at dinner time. And then I haven't seen her till now, so I feel like I haven't seen Lizzie at all today. So what happened today was I am allergic to a lot of things. I I'm, am too. <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to, well, you're food I'm not allergic to I'm any food. I'm allergic to a lot of food. Lizzie and I both have like pet hair allergies. That's why we got a hairless cat. Because we it's could. She's so cute. She is so cute. And a non-allergenic dog. A hypoallergenic dog, yeah. Hypoallergenic. And we're used to Charlie, but we also shave him really short so that his fur isn't everywhere. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when we were choosing Mim, or when we were trying to decide if we were gonna get Mim or not, we had to do the eyeball test 
And the eye, what the eyeball test is, is if we could pet the cat or hold the cat and then rub our eyes afterwards. We wanted to be extreme to make sure that Mim wasn't going to be, that we weren't going to get home and be like, ah, oh, we can't handle Mim. So we rubbed Mim on Lizzie's eyeballs. Well, I, not her eye actual eyeballs, but we rubbed her like right here yeah. by her face. And, and my skin, well, yeah, my eyes don't get puffy because they just get red. I don't think. Your it, eyes yeah. get puffy. Yeah, well, yeah, and then last yeah. time when she was around Grammy's cat, her eyes swelled shut. If, I don't know if you guys almost remember shut. that vlog that her eyes almost swelled shut because she was around Grammy's cat. So we did the eyeball test with Mim, and Lizzie didn't swell up or get stuffy. I didn't swell up or get stuffy. Allie didn't swell up or get stuffy. So we knew that we could have a hairless cat without having allergies because she's hypoallergenic. Grizzly's hypoallergenic. Charlie, we're Charlie, used to him. We're used to him. We just can't rub him on our eyeballs. So what happened today is I'm allergic to a lot of foods. And sometimes it, there will be times in my life where I can eat them. And sometimes there will be times in my life where they're really bad. And, and today, was one today of the really bad so last week, last the last few years, I have eaten nectarines and they've made me sick. And I love nectarines so much. And so I had Rachel Bennett from the Ohana Adventure got me a box of nectarines at a farm that she went to. And I had half of one last week and I was fine. It tasted so good. Oh my goodness, so good. And then I had another one. So I was like, oh, I'm fine. So I had half a nectarine today. Oh, it was so bad, so bad. So I guess no more nectarines for me. So I am, I did take an allergy medicine, an allergy pill. I am feeling tired, or I am feeling better, and the allergy pill made me super tired, so I'm very tired this evening. And um, I don't usually take medication, so I think that made it even worse. So I am happy and ready for bedtime this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> me too, because I woke up early today. I woke up at 7.40. 7.45, yeah because Lizzie is, guesses a lot on her math problems. She doesn't want to write, take the time to write it down, and so she just guesses. And so her teacher thinks she doesn't know math, and so she gets put in the small math groups. And so now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Lizzie has small math groups at 8.30 in the morning. And my teacher says if we actually concentrate on the classes, then we don't have to go to, the, to all of them. So. Oh, good. Well, then you better start. Paying attention and doing your work, huh? Mm -hmm. I had too much honey. I had way too much honey today. Whoa. You know what? He's rattling his bum like a... Oh. Look at that. Is that a bee? Oh. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Bye. Did you guys love me? Branson and Mara just left and as you can see, they found a little friend on our front porch. All right, some of the things I learned today. Life's not perfect. It doesn't go exactly the way you want it to, and that's perfectly okay. It's absolutely okay. I love this this little thing that we have over here. It says, everything is figure outable. That is absolutely truth. I think we can get caught up in, in expectation and and um, and forget that some of the steps in life that don't lead us to where we want them to go, the way that we want them to go, are actually supposed to be there to get us to where we're actually going. Confusing, I know, but the reality is even the steps that don't feel like they're in life that don't feel like they're supposed to happen they're supposed to happen to get you where you're supposed to go so it's all about just tweaking your mind a little bit and trying to understand what you're supposed to be learning from it and not why it's happening why is this happening to me get rid of that and go what am I supposed to be learning here change it it changes everything we love you guys thank you so much for your support thank you for all of you guys who have reached out to us and let us know that, we're, that we've been in your prayers, that we've felt your prayers um, about the flood and about some of the things that have happened recently. Um, once again, these things happen for reasons and uh, we get and understand that. So we love you. Never forget that. You are worth it. Hey,